Hey guys, Ryan from Spiker Workshop. Sorry there hasn't been many videos this winter. I've just been so busy on orders and different things. But I am slowly getting back into uh, working on that control board that I had in some previous videos. Um, I haven't forgot about it. I've just been too busy all winter. But um, I got um, version, I guess, 1.1 made up. Just some couple changes on it. Um, it has limit switches now, so you'll be able to run certain things with limit switches. Um, but more of that will come once I figure out the code, because I, I still haven't finished the coding for this thing yet. But I've been getting something ready. Uh, I got a pick and place machine from China. There isn't much information about these online, but I decided to kind of dive in and, and give it a go and see how it works. And uh, it actually is, is pretty easy to use. Um, I have a, a just a board loaded in here with uh, double sticky tape on it because um, I'm not ready to solder it. I'm just testing how this machine works. But um, here's the program here. There's uh, vacuum pumps built in here. Uh, let me show you here. It uses little nozzles that drop down. Let's see what I can do in here. And th they're like little vacuum tubes that will come over and suck up each component that it needs. And then as it sucks out each component, this whole reel peels the film back. And then these heads, they can also rotate. And it has um, two vision systems, up and down. So it'll go and pick up a component, hold it over the camera. It'll hold it over the camera and then fix any rotation or position for when it does the final placing. It is actually like super accurate that I found. Um, like these, the main chips for it. Um, if you put it in like slanted like that, It'll actually auto-correct that while it goes in places on the board. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let me show you here. Um, I'm gonna run the machine at only... Let's see... Yeah, 50%. Just so you can see what's going on more, because it's, it's really fast. Um, yeah, it might screw up, so I might cut to a different take, but we'll see if it, if it does it correct in the first run here. Alright, here we go. problem picking up the crystal. Okay, I think I fixed the problem. Let's see if this works here. <laughs> So yeah, the placement of this thing is really good. Like that, that main Arduino chip there, the big one here, the 
pace or placement on all these pins is like perfect pretty much it's pretty crazy um yeah the only thing that kind of sucks is this can't uh pick and place the the actual header pins but when I get around to selling these, I might sell them in two forms, with and without the headers pre-soldered. So I can save you some money if you want to solder those headers on yourself. And also, um, I have to manually place the buttons on here. Only because one of the button actually hangs off the side of the PCB just a little bit. And it, it can't on here because it's like this piece of metal is in the way. But yeah, it's it's pretty crazy how accurate this machine is. Um, I plan to use this thing also to make um, the light kits for the Spiker Cat, the cab. Um, I'm, I'm gonna buy like a whole spool of LEDs and I'll probably make a light bar for the snowblower and uh, I mean I, I plan to try to make a whole bunch of things with this machine. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for when I actually get this board off for sale. I still have a lot of coding to do on it, but I'm getting ready to get ready to produce it, you know, once it's done. So yeah, thanks for watching.